Hello, StarCraft fans! It's Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered. Today we've got a game between Jadong and Bisu here on Circuit Breakers. In the top left-hand corner of Circuit Breakers, we have the Teal Zerg player. His name is Jadong. And in the top right-hand corner, not too far away, is the White Protoss player, Bisu. So going to be a ZVP at the very, very highest of pro levels of Brood War. Got this replay off of TeamLiquid.net. It is from a few years ago, but loaded right up in the remastered client. And let's get right on into it. All right. So, scouting with the Overlord. The wrong direction. This is a four-player map. Circuit Breakers. Don't know exactly where your opponent will spawn so might as well send the Overlord down. All right, so Pylon here for Bisu, which means he's planning on fast expanding with a Forge and some cannons. I feel like he's going to be pretty darn safe because it looks like Jadong saving up for a hatch first play. Yeah. Yes, yes, it very much looks like he is at this point. So Lings can't get there for a while. Gives you plenty of time for your Forge and your cannons to finish the cannons to protect the Nexus. And the probes can fight for themselves if the lings get through. Yeah, where are we going? Where are we going with this, man? More drones. Yeah, drone, 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 drone. Starting to get that mineral count up a little bit. Here is the Jadong 200. Gonna go 2-3. Somebody asked how I do this, how I center on the drone here. You just right-click in the remastered client. And it will go ahead and center on the unit. At least until it, I guess, it disappears or stops moving. In which case... It's a hatchery here, but yeah, there's your forge. Forge coming up as part of a wall. He can't wall this whole thing off, I don't think, before lings can show up. We've seen that before, but if you get the cannons in the right places, the lings can't run by without getting shot, and they do get two shot by cannons, and they will die very, very quickly. So a full wall not entirely necessary in the situation, especially where it was a hatch first, and then the pool's going down here for Jadong. So Bisu should be just fine here in the early game. I'm not really worried about him, even the teeniest or tiniest of bits. He's not going to die early. At least I try not to choose replays. Where it's over in the first five minutes, because I don't think those are the ones that you guys want to see. Although I have done that before. Bisu versus, I'm going to say it was Hero, was one of those that was over fairly quickly. I'm not going to spoil who won, necessarily, but um, it was quite, quite an aggressive opening by one of those players, and it was over. It was all over but the, the singing. What's the phrase? All over but the crying? I think it might be the crying is the word, which is kind of weird now that I think about it, but it makes sense. I uh, suppose. So Pose. Now I'm second guessing myself. We're going to move on. That is a gateway at the front here for Bisu. Nexus here too. He's not even bothering with cannons. Yeah, he's scouting with the probe. He sees the timing on that spawning pool. He says, all right, there are any Zerglings out. There, I mean, they can't get across the map soon enough. The scouter, I don't think Jadong actually knows where Bisu is yet. He's taking his third base down in this bottom left once he's established that Bisu's not here. He's sending another overlord to the top right to see, but he's not going to get there in time to really tell the Lings where to go. But the Lings have hatched. The lings have come out. Somebody told me why the eggs don't make a sound in the replay, and it's because you don't want to be constantly hearing stuff spawn, right? You don't want to hear Goliath online. You don't want to hear my life for I, or every time a unit pops up, it gets really messy audi like audibly, auditorily. The sound gets real, real crowded if that happens, so that's why the eggs don't hatch. You don't get the sound in the replay. It's fine with me. It's just weird. I'm so used to hearing those things hatch and the specific sound from playing for so long, but... It's cool. We don't need it in the replay. Zealot in production here. There's your cannon. Notice the cannon covers the front. It's perfectly placed to cover this front from Lings, as well as cover this mineral line, as well as cover any Lings trying to run past into the main. So that is just a beautifully placed pylon. Just appreciate it for a moment. Appreciate it. Okay, good. And appreciate the zoom out. <laughs> We're going to sit like this for a minute. I'm going to try to remember to zoom out a lot more often. During the big battles especially, you can catch all of the action and not just exactly what's going on in a tiny little area. Look at that Ling chasing that probe over there. This is like Sim City StarCraft. Just super high level. This Zealot wandering across the map. Do, 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 do. I have a long way to go. It really looks like a long way when you can see it from this high up. But enough Lings are out and the probe sees this that the Zealot decides, uh, no. You know what? No. Can I actually click this guy? I can click this guy from way up here. That's hilarious. All right, Zealot, where you at, man? Run for your life. The Lynx coming down. Oh, they think the Zealot's here to harass this mineral line, but he's not. And then the Lynx are too smart. The Lynx decide, actually, okay, he's not down there. He hasn't started killing my drones yet, so he's got to be in the middle of the map somewhere. The Zealot jukes them, comes up to this high ground area where the Lynx wouldn't really bother scouting, and in fact, they're not. Although they do have some nice map control here. Good vision 
at least of what's going on. Just the one place they're not is where the zealot happens to be hiding. Good job, dude. Good job, dude. This is the weirdest way to watch StarCraft. It is so high level. We're so high up. I'm actually kind of getting vertigo here. That Corsair, that is going to be Corsair in production in that Stargate. In the way, way top right. Some Lings coming in. I guess we'll zoom in a little bit for the Ling attack. Zealot holding the line. That is a ah, Citadel of Adun at the front. And the Zealot, not quite Bob the Zealot. I think Bob the Zealot is a StarCraft II term. Oh, two Zealots here actually holding this. Perhaps you can't perfectly place this so that only one Zealot is needed for the hole in the wall on this particular map. Spire on the way from our Zerg player, Jadong. He does love his Mutas, and I guess it's going to be Scourge more often in this case because of the Corsair. The Corsairs are just incredibly good against Mutalisks. Kind of make them preventatively because Mutas are so good in ZVP. If you make the Corsairs first, it really discourages the production of the Mutalisks and kind of helps keep you alive and helps keep harassment from doing too much to you. How do these links... Can we go back? We can go back. All right. I was I was talking about stuff. How? How? Oh, did they let them in? No, Zealots, you had one job. Okay. Well, there it is. Slings get right past the Zealots, take down the cannon. The Zealots are like, no, come back. Come back. And the Lings are not interested in coming back. They want to kill all your probes. Wow. Okay. That was an uncharacteristic mistake there from Bisu. Hot diggity, dude. I mean, he's going to lose some probes here. Maybe one or two, possibly three. But the Zealots are here. The probes are fighting. Actually, did he lose any probes there? I can't. I didn't see any blue explosions. So maybe not. Maybe he didn't. Maybe that worked out perfectly. One cannon goes down. Eh. There's worse things in the world than losing a single cannon here. Speedling being so annoying. Blah. Backed into a corner and killed. So anyway, it's going to be Scourge. Scourge versus Corsair. Scourge doing that real good explosive damage against things. Can take down Corsairs very, very quickly. Not splash damage. It is single target. As somebody corrected me in the comments. Again, I do appreciate the corrections. I've watched a lot of Brood War in my time, but that was a while ago. And I watched more Star StarCraft in probably the last 10 years than the Brood War. However, however, I have been casting the Brood War for a while now. So I've been watching these games and casting them and learning a lot from you guys and learning a lot from the games. And hopefully my brood or knowledge is back up to where it used to be, at least at some level. Anyway, the Zealots pushing out to go against the third base. This is traditional in ZVP. Actually, you're going for the natural this time? Oh, juke! Bit of a juke here, trying to come into the natural. They do have the Zealot leg upgrade with that Citadel of a Dune. Air weapons getting researched from Bisu too. Just make those Corsairs a little bit more potent. What's the defense here? Two sunken colonies. Good wall here with the hatchery, with the evolution chamber. And is that another creep colony? Yes, there's another creep colony in production. Lings coming back to defend. The thing about the Lings is they are fast enough to get wherever the Zealots are. And uh, yeah, I don't like this. I don't like this from Bisu, and Bisu doesn't either. He decides to retreat from that location. And just kind of put some fear of Protoss into the Zerg player, of the Jadong here. And again, Jadong is basically a Zerg god. He is not somebody you can really put fear into, I don't think. But it is possible. Is this front door wide open again? Bisu, no. Bisu, what is happening? Alright, so the Zealots, are they just going to walk past? They're going to try to walk right past here, but the drone's going for the wall. They are sacrificing themselves so the Zealots can't get inside the main base. One sunken colony going down. Drones dying here, too. The Lings actually have to be recalled from their mission across the map to be aggressive. And instead, going to come and try to deal with these Zealots who are making a huge annoyance of themselves. Getting inside the main mineral line, most of them dying on the ramp or to that sunken, going after more of these drones. Good drone stacking, just so the Zealots don't have an easy target for any of these guys. And now there's enough Lings, I think, here where they can do it, especially with the surround, and especially if the drones are assisting here, too, and kind of messing up, up the AI of the Zealots. Okay, so all the Zealots are dead. That's going to be all she wrote. Well, we got Archon at the front here from our Protoss player, Bisu. Fourth base is done in Happily Mining for Jadong down that left side. Where's your third, Bisu? He gots to have a third. He's moving the Corsairs out. The Corsairs are ready to rock. Corsairs are ready to kill Overlords. There are not any Overlords, though, but uh, if you can take down Scourge from distance before they kill you, that's fine. Think about Scourge is their melee. It's weird, right? Like a melee flying unit. But yes, that's in fact what they are. They're suicide bombers. Lings at the front. Brar, Archon says. Brar. We're going to go ahead and brar you down. Get out. Get out of my house, says the Archon. And the Lings 
acquiesce to some level. Getting the heck on out of there. All right, Bisu, where are we at? Bisu's getting more gateways. Bisu's going kind of nuts on the Zealots and the Corsairs, man. Got upgrades, too. Working on ground weapons there. Getting additional pylons. Is that a hit? I feel like that was a Scourge hit, possibly. Any of you guys injured? Yeah, one of you is moderately injured, but not too badly. I think you're going to be okay. A lot of Scourge here from the Jadong. And again, he wants to get to Hive. He wants to get to Hive. That's what the Queen's Nest is for. He wants to get to Filers. He wants to get Dark Swarm. There's a lot of stuff he wants to get. He's not there yet. So he's trying to live basically with Scourge and Lings. And that's it to this point. Lurkers too. Getting that Lurker aspect. I don't think he's made any Hydras yet though. And that's because Hydras aren't that great against Zealots with legs. Just because the Zealots get right on top of them and hack them to death with their side blades. And you think Hydras would be good there, but no. Not as much. Archons, too. Bit of a problem for them. Although slower. So, less able to close that distance. Scourge wants that. Nope. There's cannons here. Corsair makes it back safely. Third base coming in here to the left of the main. Ling's just kind of hanging out. Just making sure that Bisu knows that he's here. Corsair's flying. They do scout this fourth base. I'm pretty sure that Bisu knew this fourth base was here. Although, this could be bad news. This could be really unwanted news for him. I wouldn't be surprised by that one, either. Zealots. Yeah, I mean, we're just kind of... Jadong just trying to get there. He's trying to get to his hive. He's trying to hold, be defensive, be a little bit aggressive with these Scourge. No, they managed to escape. Oh, the Overlord lives, too, because the Scourge were kind of escorting him there a little bit. That was interesting. Scourge. Oh, there it is. The Archon Bwop here. Picking him out of the sky. And here come the Zealots. Are there enough Lings? I don't know if there are enough Lings here, man. A lot of Scourge popping. So many Scourge popping. I don't know if that's what you want in this particular scenario. There's Archons. Look at the Archons taking out the Scourge in the sky. Jadong needs to micro and get those things out of there. Trying to get rid of all of the Sunkins here. At the front door, Lings finally coming all the way home. A couple Hydras do pop out. I mean, when in doubt, make Hydralisks. That's generally what I like to say. A lot of drones getting taken down here to Zealots. Getting spat at from distance by the Hydras. Hydras actually doing very, very well for themselves in this situation. As long as nothing's hitting them, they are effective damage dealers. Oh, but all the anti-air is gone. The Corsairs are going to kill all of these overlords. Is that going to supply block Jadong? It's going to supply block Jadong. Holy smokes, 71 out of 64 available supply. Somehow it's 133 to 70 supply here. Jadong was trying to get to Defiler. He was trying to get to Dark Swarm. He was trying to get to Lurkers and Hydras. Wasn't able to quite do it before this attack of Bisu showed up. Wow, Bisu is in a commanding position right now. Additional Zealots floating across the map. These guys are still here, mind you. They are still doing stuff. They're moving up into the main base because there's less defense up there. Obviously, Lings and Zealots trying to make it happen, trying to defend, trying to stay alive until that ideal composition comes through for the Jadong. Lings, I just feel like the Zealots can handle this many Zerglings. Yeah, I mean, is that... What do they have? The plus one, the plus two? They got the plus two. Working on plus three here at the 12-minute mark, which is just insane. Lurker eggs trying to morph at the front for Jadong. No, say the Zealots. We will kill you before you become Lurkers. Good luck with that, though. Look at how much armor's on these things. <laughs> nope. Regular lurkers burrowing in. Corsairs flying around. Where are your overlords? He says, I know you just made a whole bunch of them. Here are some. Here are a lot of them, actually. I don't think the Corsairs want to get in there, though, with the Scourge that are present. Yeah, the lurkers do manage to hatch because, holy smoke, Zerg eggs are incredibly hard to kill with them zealots. Fourth base on the way from Bisu. 142 to 85 total supply. Zerg generally runs at a bit of a supply deficit versus Protoss, but this seems like a lot. Seems like a lot of a deficit here. That was one heck of a blow Bisu put on him. Jadong needs to get these workers back to work. Is he rallied up? Yeah, you can rally your workers to places. You generally don't want to because then they rally away from the minerals. You can rally them close to the minerals, but then it gets confusing because they will not rally to the minerals directly. All right, lurkers and zealots pushing in here. Jadong needs to do something, I believe, is what this is. This is just the Jadong needs to do something push. Ling's looking pretty good. Hey, finally, Storm is done. You really need that. You yeah, really do. Observers also amazing against the Lurkers. They're down. Archon out here, but the Zealots should be able to hold against this Ling attack. Although, guess who's coming? More Zerglings. More Zerglings here with the plus one, plus one. It's pretty dangerous in all actuality. But I think some cannons are going to finish here at the fourth base. Yeah, Zealots trying to hold the line. 
Ooh, I don't know about that. Wow, look at these Ling's attack. Is there? Wow, their attack upgrade is done. Adrenaline Blinds must be done. Ay, caramba. All right, DTs versus Ling's and Zealots here too. So he does manage to save it, but guess who's here? More Zerglings! Jadong says, if at first they don't succeed with Zerglings, try, try again with Zerglings. Both players have detection right here. So Lurkers and DTs, not as effective as they normally would be. Wow, look at all that Zerg blood. Another Ling flood. Another Ling Flood. Corsair is trying to do stuff. Ooh. Corsair is escorting the shuttle. And of course there's a shuttle from the Bisu. That is his play style. I think Bisu is going to be able to hold this fourth base. I really do believe that. Corsair is trying to kill the Scourge. Ooh. High Templar drops and gets killed by Zerglings immediately. There was a Zealot in there too. He's not quite sure what to do. Are there? Okay, there's <laughs> Overlords here. I thought there were more Lings back at this fourth base of Bisu. But no, no, in fact, there are not. Corsairs, shuttles. Uh, I don't think there's... Is there anything in this guy? There's a single High Templar in that guy. Oh, look at that target firing. Look at that target firing on the Corsairs versus the Scourge. Yeah, no. Sorry, Scourge. You're not going to do anything today. You are dead before you accomplish remotely anything. The Overlord's in a position where they're kind of taunting a little bit. Come get us. There are two Spore Crawlers right here, though. You're going to take some damage if you do. Oh, storm possible. I don't know if the High Templar has enough storm. I think he would have tossed down a storm there if he could have. More Zerglings here from the Jadong. Defiler amount about 50% complete for Jadong. It really slowed down his ability to get that attack. Losing all those drones during that attack at around the 10-minute mark. Causing him problems. The shuttle go down? I think the shuttle went down. Did it? Uh, I'm going to go with it did. Because No, it's in here. It's totally in here. All right. Overlord, poor Overlord. Goodbye, Overlord. It was nice knowing you, Overlord. What are your upgrades, dudes? Plus one? Just the plus one on the air? Plus one on the air. Not much of anything else here. Got a lot of Zealots. Plus three attack Zealots. And Nidus on the way. More Lurkers coming in here, too. For Jadong researching Consume. It is a must-have upgrade for Defilers. If you don't have it, you're gonna lose. You just you need the Defilers to have a lot of energy. And the way they have energy is by consuming Zerglings, mostly. That's how that works. All right, using the Nidus to get Lurkers down here to the third base. I love that move out of Jadong. Nidus also kind of an essential late game unit for Zerg at this level. And yeah, I mean, Lurkers real good against light stuff, real good against the Zealots from distance. Zealots don't really want to attack in there. Possibly getting here at the natural base, though. Where's that Nidus? Uh, is the Nidus? I'm so blind sometimes. Oh, there it is. Wait, 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 wait. Did he have the one? I don't know. Corsair's killing another Overlord. Here comes the attack storm. The Defilers in the front. Not where they want to be. They need to toss down something. There are three Defilers here. They are not throwing down Plague. They're not doing anything. Are they out of energy? I get that. I don't think they have enough energy to do much of anything right here. This is looking like good game from Bisu. Look at the Zealots. They're not even really bothering with the Defilers right now. They don't, don't see them as a threat, but they really should be. They really should be seeing them as a threat right now. There is the Dark Swarm. With the Lings not able to be killed by distant stuff. I guess what Archons don't care. Zealots don't care about your Dark Swarm either. More Lings rolling in. Just Zergling, man. Zergling Dark Swarm Hydra can do miracles for Zerg. And Jadong is, in fact, a miracle worker. So he's alive. But it is 165 to 107 total supply. Bisu has a commanding lead. More Zealots, more Archons, more DTs. Additional upgrades for his Zealots. Is he trying to get plus, he's trying to get plus one armor right now? In addition to the plus three attack that these Zealots have, plus three Zealots with speed are pretty darn scary. Pretty darn scary units. Oh, can the shuttle? No way. He gets a storm drop off. He gets a storm drop off. What is that kill? Five, six drones there? Five or six drones killed. Scourge saved. Good. Shuttle. No. Nope. The Corsairs don't allow it. The Corsairs are killing it right now. They killed all oh, the Spore Crawlers. are gone. These Overlords are in trouble. Is this going to supply block Jadong? I don't know that it is. I'm not convinced that it is going to supply block him because he still has 30 available supply, but maybe Zealots on the right side attacking on in, but there are Lurkers here. Hydra trying to get the Corsairs out of the sky. Another base coming in at the top here for Bisu while all of this battling is going on. 196 to 115. A maxed out Protoss army right now. Reavers getting into the mix. I'm, interesting, I'm interested in how Bisu is not, not getting a lot of Templar, right? He's not getting a lot of Templar. Oh! No, oh, did he not have energy for Storm? I don't know that he did, or else he would have tossed down a Storm there. There's a good number of drones. You can kill another five or six if you really want to try. Big engagement 
here in the middle of the map. Pushing Storm on the Lurkers. Detection on the Lurkers. The Lurkers unsupported and not numbered this much by Zealots are going to be just fine. This is a pretty scary army defending this third base location. Is that another hatch? That's another hatch that's done for Jadong. So one, two, three, four, five hatches. Now for him, possibly a sixth on this left side too. I don't know. I don't actually know. 192 to 123 supply. Zealot Archon, where's your detection? Here's the detection. They're just so dang slow is what they are. I think he's going to take out two of these lurkers. Nice plague. Nice plague on the Zealots. The Archon does not care about your plague. But the Zealots do. They don't like losing health points that they can't regenerate. It is impossible for Protoss to regenerate, which I always thought is kind of weird in the Brood War, right? Is that the Protoss are so dang advanced, but they can't regenerate damage that they take. Shields, yes, but to their physical bodies, no. This seems weird. Fifth Hatch is gone for Jadong. I just think Bisu is in too much of a commanding position right now. I really... Jadong is great. Let's not lie. Jadong is an incredible player. I just don't see how even he can do this. Archon down. High Templar down. And Jadong traded a hatch for a good portion of the army here from Bisu. Bisu making more Archons. Getting some Dragoons in. I like Dragoons against Lurkers for sure. Bisu's used those in the past. An attack. There's your Dark Swarm attack. Up to this fifth base in the north for the Bisu. Zealots are going to have to be the answer here. They get plagued. They get plagued, making them such juicy targets for these Lings. Plus three, plus two Cracklings. They're almost fully upgraded right now, but they've got that attack upgrade. Look at this. Look at these Zealots die. We haven't seen them die this fast. The Plague is making a huge difference. A huge difference. Archon's getting right on top of these Lurkers. Where is your detection? Do you not have the detection, Bisu? Where is it? You don't have observers. Observers, where are you? Are you down here, guys? I don't I don't know, but holy cow. BC's going to lose his fifth base. That's all there is to it. Probes need to get the heck on out of there, but there's lings that can chase them down. There's lurkers that are hitting them from distance to <laughs> Jadong. Jadong, are you serious right now? Well, yes, Falcon. Yes, I am, says Jadong from the past. Another observer in production. Bisu pushing out. He still has a nice lead, but it's not as commanding. As it used to be in this total army supply. Four lurkers. Upgrades on these guys. Plus three, plus two. That is a lot of armor. That is a lot of armor on these lurkers. What do they have? They have one normally. So that's four armor on these guys. I know they, it seems like they explode fairly easily. But trust me, they don't explode fairly easily. I love the DT Zealot Archon thing. Makes Dark Swarm a lot less effective. When that happens to be your composition here. Jadong. Trying to defend this new hatch of his that he is constructing up here just outside of his main base. But wow. Another plague thrown down. Reavers exploding on top of the lurkers there too. Consume, consume, consume. And the defiler wants to plague again. He does get a plague on two of the reavers. They get the revenge by killing him with a scarab. <laughs> and Bisu continuing to come in here despite all of the red all over his beautiful, usually pristine yellow units. Zealots continuing to march on in. I don't think that Jadon can hold this base. I don't know if he's necessarily trying to. He is trying to. Oh my lurker group, Batman. What is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. About 10 of them. About 10 lurkers here. Setting up. The Zealots trying to get these guys before they burrow, but the spread is beautiful. Out of Jadon. The spread is so good. Out of Jadong and Bisu looks like he's in full retreat right now. The Dragoons are getting taken out by the Lings. That's exactly what they were created for, was killing Dragoons. The Archon, the Pathing, screwed him up. Two of them die. Nice hit with the Reaver on these Hydralisks. Bit of a overkill there, but that's just fine. Lurkers taking hits. That's 100 damage per shot from these Reavers. I don't care what you are in the Zerg army. If you're taking a Reaver shot to the face, it hurts. It is going to hurt. Corsairs taking down, what, Overlord? Trying to kill Overlords there. We're getting picked off from the ground by these, again, plus three, plus two Hydras. The upgrades are so, so, so good right now. 125 to 122. Jadong has fought and scratched and clawed his way back. Woo! Hydras. Hydras are so susceptible to Reaver Scarabs. They just, they're glass cannons, right? They don't have much HP. Just get one shot by Scarabs and it's splash, so a group of Hydras will die in that situation is not ideal. So, Bisu holds on to this base, and Jadong held on to his base. I don't know how. I don't know how they did it. It's because they're two of the best players of the Brood War universe ever in the history of all time. 
Jadong pushing in. Ooh, but losing a couple lurkers pretty quickly. Yeah, that turns the tide. I don't think the Jadong wants to engage here, but it does have more lurkers on the high ground. Zealot's taking shots. Yeah, look at them. They don't have the HP pools that they usually do. Sadly enough, Dark Templar trying to wander into this replanted base of Jadong's. I think it's his fifth, but there is an Overlord here, and it's the Detector, because all Overlords are Detectors in the Brood War, which is something they changed in StarCraft 2. It's been that way for a long time now. Shuttle maybe trying to do stuff. Archon popping in behind this mineral line at this new base. I don't think it's going to finish before it explodes. Nope. No, absolutely not. Small haphazard group of Jadong trying to get up here. Another plague tossed down on more zealots. But everything dying. Again, the Dark Swarm doesn't help when your army is primarily zealots on the other side here. Defiler bleh, 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 dead. Man, that armor really makes Defiler's survivability increase. No, Dragoons are not what you want here. Dragoons with their range attack are not doing anything to these guys. But I guess they're not necessarily inside the Dark Swarm either right now. Scourge flying in, trying to see what's up. Nice storm on this little cavalcade of Zerg units that are coming in. What is happening? Jadong's up 129 to 106 total supply. Dragoons are not doing what they need to right now. There we go. Dark Swarm is gone. Zealots getting taken down. One kill on that Zealot. Just more shuttle stuff. More shuttle attempting stuff right now. This is exactly what Bisu likes to do. Takes the storm. Nice dodge. Nice drone dodge, though. Continuing to tack on up into this fifth base location of the north of Bisu right now. This has been a Gettysburg field. This has been a bloodbath for a couple minutes now. A lot of blue blood. A lot of red blood. Handful of Hydralisks versus static defense. Fully upgraded Hydras versus cannons are going to do so, so well. But Zealots, again, on top of them, Lurkers. Is there detection? Where do the observers go? I don't think there's any detection here. And that's it. Bisu with the GG. Bisu taps out. And Jadong is your winner in 26 minutes and 25 seconds. Bisu was double the supply of Jadong just a few minutes ago. It just felt like five minutes ago. It was probably closer to 10 or 15. But still, how... How did he... I, mm, that's Jadong. That's why he has the reputation that he has. Is because he is ridiculously good. Bisu, a sick and incredibly talented Protoss in his own right. But Jadong, just able to scratch and fight and claw. They were not huge scale engagements a lot during this game. But just small pieces of armies, small defenses. Losing a hatch here and there. Losing static defense here and there. Losing drones here and there too was Jadong. But never got... His throat stepped on to the point that he couldn't come back. Heart of a champion. That guy for sure. Let's take a look at our final score here. Units produced 841 from Jadong in 26 minutes. Lost 641 of them. So many. Bisu killed 620. I don't know if that's friendly fire or what with that number. Structures raised 10 versus 15 here. 10 structures raised by Bisu is really good against a Zerg player. And then it's just, this is the economy. It's always economy. More gas, more minerals, and more spending from Jadong in that game. Bisu was on five bases. Jadong got up to six towards the end there. Possibly seven if I'm counting right. And sometimes I don't count right, but holy crap. All right. Well, that's going to be it from me. This has been Falcon Paladin. Coming at you with yet another StarCraft Brood War Remastered cast. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch. All at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thanks so much for watching. And you take care of yourself.